Tonight is your chance to learn more about the opportunities for the Rudy Loop in Virginia Beach. As we reported, city leaders want to clear the air with residents that development doesn't have to be commercial. Yeah, instead, the city is looking at options to add green space. Ten on your side, Andy Fox joins us live ahead of tonight's public meeting where the city is revealing a concept rendering of this project. Andy? Yeah, this is part of the 10 acre Rudy Loop site right here. It would go all the way down here. There won't be hotels and motels and restaurants and economic development things. All this area right in here would be something softer than that. Entertainment, basketball courts, tennis courts, all the way down to over there. Rudy Inlet is all about this. Boats coming and going, bikes, fishing, surfing, Gromit Park, a playground for everybody. Up in Chopper 10, you can see why Rudy Loop is considered one of the most pristine pieces of undeveloped property on the East Coast. It's a really important place to keep open and to keep available to the public. We walked some of the 10 acre Rudy Loop site with former city planning director Barry Frankenfield and Virginia Beach City Councilwoman. Rosemary Wilson. There's already been significant citizen involvement, and this is what they've asked for. In a June survey that is now part of the Resort Area Strategic Action Plan. And the ideas are uh, multi court active places, basketball, tennis, playground, spray park, entertainment areas, seating, sculpture. What's interesting about this, the high profile plans in the past dealt with economic development, hotels, restaurants, shops, a mall. Not this time. Virginia Beach is a destination. It's not just for hotels. People don't come here for the hotels, they come here for the experience. Not everyone agrees. Charles Petty sees a need for dog parks and skate parks as much as he sees a need for hotels, economic development, generated taxes. There should be space for a restaurant and small, a few small shops. Uh, there should be space for some upscale condos and a nice hotel and still accommodate all of the other things. William Williams, so nice to name me twice. We found William William fishing in Rudy Inlet. I've been here 80 years, so I know to all the places that we used to fill, you know, that done, uh, they don't build up, you know, and we can't go in anymore. So this is the last place that we have right now to go fishing. It has to do with active places for children, for adults, for entertainment, special events, um, just enjoying the beach and the open space, fishing, surfing. It has to do with everything that everybody likes to do here. And that is what the city's plan is, at least to propose right now. Here's the bottom line. What happens? Well, if this is approved, then Councilwoman Wilson and others will go out and see what kind of money and funding is out there in the nonprofit venue. A lot of projects are built in Virginia Beach that way. The Sandler Center is just one example. They would go out, see if the money's there. If it's not there, then they'll wait. But at least they're this much further down the road trying to figure out what should go on the Rudy Loop site. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. All right, Andy, thank you. And if you want to attend tonight's meeting, it's from 6 to 8 at the Virginia Beach Convention Center on 19th Street. You will get to see that first draft concept rendering for adding green space to Rudy Loop and offer your feedback.